Well, folks, we have some rumors for you today coming from the same source about two different things that apparently apply to Nintendo Switch 2. Well, one of them directly does because it involves the dev kits for the Nintendo Switch 2 getting an update that, well, it's kind of a minor thing for us gamers, but a really big thing for developers and likely just going to make a lot of games look and perform a lot better. And it's weird talking about it since the system hasn't been announced, but hey, it's still pretty interesting and I'm really glad that this update's out there now. Again, still a rumor. Also included in this is something to do with GameCube and NSO. And this rumor is a bit speculative, but it's based on something Nintendo has actually updated, which to me is quite fascinating. And again, was pointed out by the same source, although we can argue Nintendo is actually the direct source of this, getting us really excited for GameCube on Nintendo Switch 2. That being said, folks, I want to thank you so much for being here. We're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. If you're enjoying this content, you want to stay updated on all the latest rumors and news from Nintendo, we have a brand new news show launching next week. It's going to include a little bit more than Nintendo, but still mostly focused on Nintendo. We'll still have our individual topics as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're building a whole new set for it, whole new computer. It's going to be great. Just subscribe to the channel, everyone. It would be greatly appreciated. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. Because first up here, we have good old Nash Weedle. All right. For those who don't know who Nash Weedle is, he's gotten a few things correct over the last couple of years. And look, all his other stuff is still pending. So we kind of consider Nash Weedle to be a possibly really reliable person, but we just got to wait for things to pan out. Now, Nash Weedle put out there that the Switch 2 development kit received an important update. And again, this is based on translation from Spanish by Google. So it says, now the tools allow us to go one step further. So this is something that his supposed development sources have told him. And he said, I can confirm that this is direct information from a developer. It's not speculation. Of course, for all of us, it's speculation because we have to rely on Nash Weedle's trustworthiness. Anyways, he gives an opinion that he thinks it's an update in reference to rescaling, which it really is all talking about upscaling. Uh, when we think about the Nintendo Switch 2, one of the biggest things that is rumored for it is DLSS. And it's been rumored to be the 3.5 version just without frame generation. And that's entirely possible because the feature set there is not frame generation, but the other stuff in 3.5 is usable on older Ampere architecture. So this is one of those things where we kind of think we know that it's using the T239, which is an NVIDIA chipset and is based on Ampere. And Ampere can use certain features from 3.5, although it typically doesn't in the PC sense. It is technologically capable. We've heard this is custom, yada, yada, yada. And we can get into a lot of the technical details, but the bottom line is that it appears, at least according to Nash Weedle, and again, still a rumor, that yes, there was a update to the dev kits that now enabled them to rescale or upscale their games even better. And that's just nice. It's just another step in the process. It also goes to show that clearly the system isn't ready to launch today because if it was, developers would already have the full suite of tools they need to take advantage of the LSS or maybe even a custom you know, upscaler that Nintendo's providing. And they apparently haven't because they've been given this update recently, which allows them to, well, now do a better job with upscaling and rescaling their games, probably for multiple resolutions. Remember, you got the handheld resolution, you also got TV resolution, and TV resolutions can go from 8K to 4K to 1080p, even still some 720p TVs out there. So just things for Nintendo to consider with a upscaler or any sort of rescaling technology. This is just good news. All it means is games are gonna look better and possibly even perform better, but we don't know what better means because we don't have the system out or announced and we haven't seen games for it yet, or at least haven't seen games officially. So take that for what you will. It's just something to throw out there. Now we get into this next one that deals with GameCube. And this is where I am starting to get a little excited here because Nintendo's directly involved in this, also spotted by Nash Weedle. So Nash Weedle put out that Nintendo seems to have a GameCube emulation ready. So GameCube emulator, okay? It recently updated a patent based on this system. And why would they still be updating patents based on GameCube stuff? if uh, they're not planning to do anything with it, which joins other recent patents on cube console control. So 
you know it's obviously here gamecube nintendo switch online obviously this is just a fan made uh logo but we get over to here and it says in a game system according to a further embodiment the game information storage medium contains at least two emulator programs each of which correspondingly emulates two types of second game machines having different architectures from each other and from the architecture of the first game machine. The game selection program selects any of the emulator programs according to the game program of the game title selected by the player. In a game system, according to another embodiment, the game information storage medium includes at least two emulator programs that emulate the second game machine in at least two types as the first game machines, each having architectures different from each other. The game selection program starts the execution of the game program of the game title selected by the player based on the emulation program according to the architecture of any of the first game machines. And look, that's a lot of the mumbo jumbo. That essentially means that there's just a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes uh, to make multiple emulators run. And this emulation update is in regards to one that refers to GameCube games, which I just find really, really interesting. It's not something that I am, you know, worried about. Uh, it's possible that they're talking about combining multiple emulators together in a single package. And that might be a big update for Nintendo Switch 2 because the way that the emulation process works for Nintendo Switch Online right now is you have to download a Nintendo Entertainment System app, a Super Nintendo Entertainment System app, a Game Boy app, etc., etc. It's not all combined together because they just separate them out as individual emulation programs. But what this kind of sounds like maybe this update with the GameCube related one is a combination of emulators into a single application where the game selection selects which emulator to use. And this could just be a friendly user update for Nintendo Switch Online emulation for Switch 2. Now, it could obviously, this whole combining them together could be an update for Nintendo Switch as well. But since this update appeared in a GameCube emulation, uh, you know, patent, that to me just sounds like Nintendo's really talking about the next system here combining things together and yes the fact that this is in a gamecube patent just makes you feel like well if they're still updating this patent maybe it's because they are planning to bring gamecube emulation to nintendo switch 2 and thus bring it to nintendo switch online probably in the premium tier and the reason we say nintendo switch 2 exclusive isn't because switch can't run GameCube emulation. We assume it can. It's significantly more powerful than a GameCube, but it would just be to help push people to the next platform. And look, Nintendo could still add GameCube to the current Switch. We can't dismiss that possibility. It just seems like at this point, if they're going to add a new big system like that, that that's like a selling point for a new system. Nintendo likes making selling points. Maybe it'll be on both. So that's possible as well. And then you know what they say when that happens? everybody wins so i don't know guys this is just the latest on the rumor mill and the speculation mill out there you guys let me know what you think about this stuff down in the comments below i am nathaniel ruffle from nintendo prime and i'll catch you guys in the next video